Today's Pickmonic will go over Green Man's half dozen of back pain, represented by Green Man and his dirty half dozen pack of goons causing back pain on unsuspecting strangers. They represent six common, recurrent mechanical somatic dysfunctions that lead to back pain. These include pubic shears, sacrum anonymous shears, sacral nutation failures, short leg syndrome, postural muscle imbalances, and type 2 lumbar somatic dysfunctions. Pubic shears result from a hypertonic rectus abdominis, which can place tension on the pubic bone and displace it superiorly or inferiorly. These patients will have equally horizontal bilateral ASIS and PSIS landmarks, but with a step off over the pubic bone. Sacrum anonymous shears, represented by this goon with a sack of rum coming out of the anonymous end with shears, are a group of dysfunctions that can cause severe back pain as well. Anonymous shears can be right sided or left sided and can be superior or inferior. Sacral shears can be right sided or left sided, similar to anonymous shears but are labeled as unilateral flexion or extension, depending on the palpated sacral findings. The sac rum nut rotation fail sign helps us to remember a sacral nutation failure. This can result when the sacrum fails to return to its anterior and inferior position. This dysfunction can be caused from backward sacral torsions and bilateral sacral extensions. Short leg syndrome, shown by the short leg, can also cause back pain due to the compensatory mechanisms that the body utilizes to maintain balance. This can include anterior and posterior anonymous rotations, sacral torsions, and lumbar side bending. Postural muscle imbalances shown by the postural muscle man causing an imbalance result in back pain as well. Commonly tested is lower cross syndrome which can result from an imbalance in stability and hip flexors, hip extensors, lower back muscles, and abdominal muscle groups. Lastly, type 2 lumbar somatic dysfunctions, represented by the dysfunctional 222 lumbar sumo tic, result in back pain and are typically seen at L4 and L5. These non-neutral dysfunctions focus on one vertebral segment, and can even induce sacral torsions directly below. In summary, although there can be multiple different causes of back pain, be sure to know Greenman's half dirty dozen, as they are more likely to be tested. These include pubic shears, sacral anonymous shears, sacral nutation failures, short leg syndrome, postural muscle imbalances, and type 2 lumbar somatic dysfunctions. I, I'm Green Man, and my dirty half-dozen band of goons and I are gonna take over this little town. We're hurting backs today. Ain't nobody safe. These unsuspecting bystanders don't stand a chance. First, I'm gonna sick old pubic shears on them. Those hips certainly don't lie. That's gotta hurt. That'll distract them long enough to let my other goon run out of the anonymous inn and really hit him where it hurts. Right in the sack rum with a sack of rum. And if he makes any trouble, we got another pair of shears for him, and we know how to use them. His other friend here can get the similar treatment. I got a goon drunk off of the sack of rum, and he's got another sack of nuts that are gonna make a rotation straight to this dude's sack rum. Ha! Fail! For the rest of the story, check out Picmonic.com and sign up for a free account. There, you can also take Picmonic's quiz. The quiz automatically sets up your daily quiz by using spaced repetition algorithms based on the questions you've missed or struggled with to make sure you study what you need when you need to. And while you're there, check out the rest of our presentations, Picmonic's. We've got all the content you'll need to remember. Everything from Greenman's Dirty Half Dozen of Back Pain, low back pain, and so much more, so you can lock down everything you need to know forever. Play, quiz, and spaced repetition. Efficient, effective, and research proven to increase exam scores.